at 6 o'clock tonight, a state senator calling out the Texas Department of Criminal Justice over how the final words of a notorious death row inmate were handled. Last week, John William King was executed for the 1998 dragging death of James Byrd Jr. in Jasper. Nearly one week later, there is fallout. State Senator John Whitmire now saying things need to change. Channel 2 Sophia Ojeda live with what the senator, what has him so upset. Sophia? Good evening, Dominique. Senator Whitmire says that any statement by a death row inmate must be made before their execution and any written statement that's left behind should not be made public. Capital punishment. Them without the capital get the punishment. This is the written statement left behind by convicted murderer John William King being read aloud by a spokesman with the Texas Department of Criminal Justice following his execution last Wednesday. King was put to death for the brutal 1998 dragging death of James Byrd Jr. James Byrd Jr. was chained to the back of a pickup truck and dragged for three miles along a road in Jasper, Texas. On Monday, Senator Whitmire sent this letter to TDCJ demanding the practice of reading written statements by inmates after they are executed come to an end. I don't think it's fair to the Byrd family to have to endure any more from King nor the people of Texas. There's his opportunity. He doesn't. They leave, and then they've got to read in the paper the next morning his flippant remarks about the death penalty. Andy Kahn from Crime Stoppers Houston has been in connection with James Byrd's family throughout these years. It has not been easy for them, he says. It is the most mentally draining, grueling, emotional day you wouldn't wish upon anyone. I'm sure they would probably agree with my thoughts and sentiments and perspective on this. If you got something to say, you say it at the time. Now, according to Senator Whitmire, he says that TDCJ has agreed to end this practice. We reached out to the Texas Department of Criminal Justice for a comment, and they told us, a spokesperson told us on the phone, there is no comment at this time. Reporting live in Midtown, Sofia Ojeda, KPRC, Channel 2 News.